Beautiful Airbnb in Naples, our kitchen. We'll see you soon, maybe. Maybe we'll see you someday. This was beautiful. Here's where we did all the lives, right here. Say bye. Bye. Goodbye bathroom. Goodbye bidet. You were fun. Goodbye nice toilet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye bedroom. I slept there. Bye desk. We did some lives there. Also, Corey slept up there, like the girl from the ring or something. Cool. Bye. Ciao. Okay, you guys, we gotta leave this Airbnb now and go to Omalfi. Um, this was a nice little balcony area. Goodbye balcony. Goodbye guys. Ciao. Ciao. So heavy, so heavy, so heavy, so heavy, so heavy, so heavy. Just got out of that taxi. How you feeling? Are we gonna get on this boat or what? I want one of those bubble guns. Yeah, it was that I'm asking for the car. Okay, cool. <laughs> so for context, we're taking a boat to Amalfi, and we were originally going to take a train to a bus, and then we found out we could take a boat, and then the website said we could take it, and then we asked somebody here, and they said we can't go on Tuesday, but then we bought a ticket, so it feels like we're doing well. Ciao. Um, can I do two? I'll do a uh, double espresso. Grazie. Grazie. Double espresso. Start the day for all the views and all the food. Ciao. Grazie. <laughs> We're doing it. Yeah. Officially made it to Amalfi. Also, that's the way to do it. Take a boat. Oh, yeah, 100%. Hi. What's that? You like the booty scratches? Hi. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. <laughs> they must have watched one of your vlogs. <laughs> On our way over here, we looked up a couple really popular places that have high ratings. We're going to try this place right here Da Maria. Which of course means die, Maria. Oh, I hope not. Please, that's it. Look how beautiful this menu is. Also, it's very good card stock. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh my god, so pumped. So, first impressions of Amalfi. Uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. The views when you're even bringing coming in on the boat is probably the move. And the views when you're coming in on the boat are amazing. These streets are so small, and honestly, they feel a little scarier than even Napoli. The cars seem like cooler with getting tight on you. We raised a bunch of money from them to, for us to come here. So we're making all these videos for them, you know, so this is all the stuff we're making for them is all kind of cool food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's gonna be. We got Let's our model, we got our model. What do we right got here? here? <laughs> there we go. Hello. What kind of pizza is that? This is a margarita. Uh -huh. This is in the colors of the Italian flag. Yeah, 
Yes. Which is green, which is the basil or the basil, white, which is the mo mozzarella, and the red is the tomato. Yeah. White and red for Italy. Incredible. I gotta be, I gotta be careful. He's gonna ditch me, and he's got a new. Yeah. Do you want to be my co-host? I don't need him anymore. Need me for anything. Better with the facts. Yeah. You're, you're, <laughs> yep. you're a natural. In Iceland, the Vikings that they feel that they. Speak oh, to wow. to give me two minutes. Thank you. Okay, I had to get this because this flat noodle, this fat, flat, thick noodle, that's my old nickname, um, <laughs> is really popular here in Amalfi. So I had to get it and it has clams and mussels. It looks so good. It smells incredible. In America, I don't eat a lot of pastas that have the shells because I don't want to, I don't want to catch an injury when I'm eating, but I have to do it here. So here we go. Oh my God. The noodles, first of all, those clams are incredible. The noodles are firm, but then they like melt in your mouth. There's like a real butteriness to it. You're gonna have to try this, Corey. All right. It's, it's just beautiful looking. Wow, wow. One more bite, and then we gotta see what Corey's got. One of the best pastas I've ever had. Wow, this is so good. It's oh, so yeah. good. So good. Are you from guys? Chicago, Chicago. America. This I know. Yeah. <laughs> the surprise for you. Which part of Chicago? So he lives by Wrigley, Wrigley Field, Wrigley Lake, Lake Lake View, yes, yes. and then I'm downtown um, in River North. Okay. Yeah. You know why? My wife is on San Charles. Really? No way. Oh my God! It's so it's awesome. That's so funny. Oh, this looks good. This is a uh, pizza. It's got basil. It's got mozzarella. It's got potatoes and bacon on here. Well, you got a little Italian bacon. Takes a minute with all the. Yeah. Mmm, 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 mmm. This might be one of the best ones I've had yet. Really? Oh, that's because it's so different than the ones we've had. Mm -hmm. Like everything else has been red sauce. The cheese is so rich. Oh hell yeah! I think I like this better than the pizza we've had in Naples. Oh no way! Naples. I'm not kidding. Oh man, this is really, really good. Wow, this restaurant is a must do. Da Maria. Mmm, 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 mmm. Have... Shaved cheese on there. It's right? so like nice looking. I haven't got the potatoes yet. You know I'm a little potato boy. <laughs> so we'll see you. All right now. Yeah. Have a great have a nice day. time. Yeah, yeah thank you so nice much. Okay. Thank you for uh, the recommendations. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're gonna come visit you guys in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. good, good, good. Damn. Sitting on a patio like this in Amalfi because of the number six with cheese crew is truly mind blowing. It really is. So, as you can probably imagine, clams and mussels in Amalfi and in the Amalfi Coast is huge. They catch so much fish, it's never frozen, and then they cook it, and you're eating it from right out of the sea. Oh my god. You gotta try a noodle. Yeah, you gotta try this. Get that noodle and get in there. Mmm. It's so rich and delicious, right? So much. <laughs> it was great meeting you. Hopefully, we'll see you guys again. Ciao. Also, compared to the place we were at in Naples for this, the mussels and clams, like it comes right out of the shell when you touch it. The other one's a little stuck a little bit more. So that's like kind of like when you get really good oysters. Yeah. You don't want to get any grit in there, and it's got to come right out. All right, Corey cut me a little slice. It's got everything on it. Cheers. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. It's so creamy, the cheese. And then I love that potato on it. How do you feel about the fork and a knife thing in Italy? Uh, it's a little annoying. But you know, if it's if I'm getting the one of the best slices of pizza I've ever had in my life, I'll do it. Mm. Mm, mm. It's so rich. I like it rich, you know. Although you're poor, you like it rich. Yeah. It's this cheese. 
Mm. Yeah, I think this is all about the cheese is amazing. It's incredible. It's like still lingering in my mouth from when I had that little piece you gave me. I'm like a little jealous I didn't get that pizza. And they load it up with potatoes and they load it up with cheese. There's gonna be a point where I get full and then I'm just gonna push past that. <laughs> and then there's gonna be a point where I'm too full and I'm gonna keep going. You're not a quitter. Bro. Seeing how happy you are is like truly fantastic. <laughs> they also brought out, I got a Peroni, but they brought out two wine glasses because Sean's such an alcoholic. He got so much wine, they assume there's no way he's drinking this on his own. They don't know me, dude. <laughs> they don't know what they're in for. I almost made another food choice and I'm so glad I didn't. Just this bite, I put clams and mussels on the end of the fork and then a couple noodles and it's just dripping an oily, buttery flavor. It's gonna be real hard to eat Italian food again in America. I hit that first chunk of being full. This is where I start my push. This is kind of right on, well this is this is right on the main strip. It's not too far from, from the water. Easy to get to, easy to find. As I'm sure you can tell in the background, fantastic people watching. You got any clam left? Plenty. You wanna try it? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Good. Good. Corey gave me some more pizza. So good. Got like the tomato and the clam and the noodles. I would come here if I were you. We told our server that um, we're from Chicago. His wife is from St. Charles, Illinois. And it sounds like either they also have family or maybe go visit Aurora, funny enough. Well, I'd say this is probably a success. Corey, housed, mine, housed. Here we go. All right, St. Charles. <laughs> Grazie. This is gonna be his first limoncello. Yeah, oh, really? He's never yeah, had yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big moment. My life. You're a part of this journey. The best place ever. Yeah. <laughs> the one is homemade, nothing commercial. Homemade. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, a little limoncello. First ever for me. Cheers, and it's Cheers. homemade, they said. Salute. Salute. Still putting it down, I love it. Oh, that's so good. That's obviously something I'm gonna love. Yeah, sugary, boozy lemon. Yeah, just the right mix of both, too. Wow. Great for after a meal, because it really does kind of like cleanse the palate. Have a little bit of this, have a little bit of espresso to... Yeah, our hearts are gonna stop beating. Yeah, I can't wait for it. Oh my God, it's so good. I would drink this when I lived in Florence, and it would like after every meal, and this is like fantastic. Like, Da Maria, you guys gotta come here. I love Italy. You could be a model, dude. This is just a beautiful shot right here. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this gorgeous human. <laughs> you guys getting sick of espresso B-roll yet? So we just got a little bit of a freebie because we're uh, charming folks. Yeah, man. And we really enjoyed the presence of our waiter, chat with him a little bit. And this is uh, homemade also. And it's a mandarin based one, like the little, the oranges, mandarin oranges. So we haven't tried it, but. It's electric yellow. I would have thought it was like maybe orange, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, but then again, yeah, yeah. Orange juice isn't really orange though, is it? It's kind of like this, right? What? Mimosas look like this. Are they straight orange? Orange juice is orange. <laughs> what are you talking about? Isn't like it? orange juice is so orange. Maybe it's just because I only have them with mimosas and they're. <laughs> yeah, you don't use very much orange juice because you're yeah, an alcoholic. Yeah, yeah, to, that's your own problem. I did last time I saw orange juice is just champagne with a dab of orange juice. Yeah, it looks just that's like that's a this. personal preference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You need to seek help. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right cheers. Cheers. Psychopath. Orange juice isn't orange. <laughs> you nuts. Oh, it's very good. You can definitely. It tastes like mandarin. It tastes like a small orange. Yeah. That flavor's there. Oh, you're about to slam it. Wow, whoa, it's so different. Right? You like it? I do. It does have that nice little orange. <laughs> like a seagull. Where'd it go? Like down a down a <laughs> dude, Sean, he was seagulling, dude. <laughs> That's so, so good and so different. Be nice to people and make conversation, and normally you'll get free alcohol. That's right. Wait. <laughs> and make friends. <laughs> Thank you so much, my friend. That was incredible. What's your name? Gregorio. I'm Sean. Sean it's great to meet you. Cora. And nice to meet you. Come it's see nice him at Da Maria. Oh, you know, 
we want people the to come see The brother of my sister, huh? they call the Connor. No way! Oh. <laughs> um, you gotta come see him. Uh, this is fantastic. Right when you get off your ship, it's what? like a five minute walk. Come to Damaria, eat and drink like a king and a queen. Yeah. So I give you You're freaking welcome. Yes, if you want, maybe yes send please me do. Review, oh, we sure, yes, we sure will. We sure will. Oh my god, life. thank you. Dude. I love Italy. Got the card. This is a gorgeous business card. Let's break it down as we walk and then we'll end this video so you guys can get back to your lives and jealous of us. Also, my forehead is not looking good from this angle. You guys, the food was incredible and has been the case with every Italy day so far. The people that we're meeting. Our server was amazing, the food was amazing, the drinks were amazing. This has just been a great experience. So we've been doing this thing on the show for the last couple of weeks of, is that a must stop? Is it pretty good? Is it average? Should you skip it? Don Maria, what do you think? Bro, that is a must stop if you make it to Amalfi. That's maybe one of the, that might be my favorite pizza I've had on this trip. It's very, 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 very rich. So if you don't want a rich food, <laughs> get the margarita pizza. But if you're looking yeah. for a little bit of flavor, which the, our waiter told us that was also his, uh, favorite as well as favorite pizza there incredible in my book. I asked him I was like, how did we do? We're two like very American dudes trying to order off this menu and he seemed pretty impressed He was like yeah. you guys did good. You got the thing that's known to be in Amalfi And then you also got my favorite pizza yeah. said about Corey, so I feel really good about that Yeah, 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 I'll say this we've been having when it's really good We're having experiences over just the food being good and I think that's what we've realized is it's kind of like when something's good, it's the top to bottom is good. Yeah, the whole thing. I think Don Marie is a must stop and um, I cannot wait to keep in touch with him. Yep. And uh, you guys, honestly, like, thank you so much for sending this to Italy because Amalfi has been, in the two hours we've been here, fantastic. Incredible. Yeah. And you know what, if you're looking at Sean's lips and saying, maybe he's just saying all this stuff because he's got purple lip, means he's a little ee, ee, ee. Yeah, you might be right, you might be wrong. But look, either way, that was incredible. Sean's got old purple lip. <laughs> we love you guys. Uh, we're gonna go explore this amazing city and uh, check back in very, very soon. So, new video coming up soon. This is where the people of Amalfi would pray to Corey if he moved here, because, is that disrespectful? <laughs> this is about as good as it gets, I'd say. Yeah, I don't, how do you get better than this? Like, I'm skating, right? Right. Tony Hawk style. Okay, keep going, wow, kick in, <laughs> kick, push, okay. okay. All right, All right I'll lead up, up there. Here. Grind that. Okay, goes down there. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Land on a pigeon. I think it goes to dust. Yeah, but like a Randy Johnson is... pitch. <laughs> how many points is that in Tony Hawk Pro Skater, though? Oh, that's like uh, 50 million. Oh, okay, I know. You got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, so then you're down there. Dude, I just turned a pigeon into dust. <laughs> that's at the end of the move? <laughs> yeah, bro. <probably. Okay. laughs> it's called the duster. <laughs>